This is Lolly, and welcome back to our December Daily series for 2019. So, um, I did do one video just showing what it was going to be about this year. We we're using this Dress My Craft paper pad, and the theme is Christmas Bells. This is what we'll be using. There will be a link down below to this pad, and make sure you check out that and some other items in the links. So, this is the prototype. Uh, non-Christmas based. So what we're going to be doing is, <clears throat> this is six right here going to the edge of these tabs. The pages themselves are five and a quarter by six and that allows the tabs to stick out. This cover I also made it five and a quarter wide but I've decided I am not super fond of the tabs sticking out that far. So this time I'm going to make the cover a little bit come out a little farther yet so instead of the five and a quarter, I am going to do five and a half is how far it will come out. These will still stick out. I could do five and three quarters, but I think I do want the tabs to stick out a little bit. So it's up to you how big you want your cover to be. So please make that decision. Um, or if you're not really sure, you can wait and decide that later. But right now I want to work on the covers. So what you need is some sort of a cardboard box from your recycling and so something that is not corrugated so like a cereal box in other words and this is just the right size but I want to find the seam here so I can take it apart in the seam there we go and I can take my craft blade and get that cut into the right dimensions here so I'm going to cut mine at six tall by five and a half. So I'm noticing I have a flaw here, so I want to totally get rid of that. Okay, and those are the same. What I've determined is that for each one of these, so this would be day one, inside cover, and this day one, day two, like that. That's how the spreads are going to work. And so day 25 will be the last, the back of the last sheet, and the inside of the back cover. So the only thing I need to worry about right now is what I want for the outside covers of these. And so, um, I'm going to look at my paper pad and decide which sheet that I want to be on the front cover. And also, I don't think I'm going to use any of my nice decorative paper pad sheets for the, um, for the back cover because I want uh, to save these for inside pages. So I will probably use one of the solid cardstock sheets that I got uh, from my local uh, scrapbook store. That way I can save all the pretty ones for the inside, except for the one that will be my cover. These two here are both um, ta little tags or cut aparts which are really cute and you can do that or you can use this as one of your pages it is totally up to you so okay I don't think I want something this busy for my cover that's very cute and keep in mind that this is not as wide the cover is not as wide as this paper here so you would figure out which part of that you would want I would have to center it in order to get all of that picture and all of this that's really pretty but it's very busy I like this that it says Christmas memories that would be really cute too and this could this would also have to be centered because I want that and that so that's a possibility Merry Christmas not exciting enough for me 
That's really cute. Magic Christmas. I like that as well. So between that and that, I think a little busy. This is really pretty because it's, um, if you like decorating your covers, it's beautiful. Both of these are beautiful, but they also give you room to add all your own embellishments. And I would have a hard time cutting into this one. It says, Merry Christmas. I like that all as well. Ooh, hard, hard, hard. Okay, decision making. I don't think I want this much green on my cover, so I think I'm going to go with this. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is trim it off six inches high. Okay, so this will be my front cover, but it needs to be five and a half inches. This is six, and I want this centered, so I'm going to take a quarter inch off of each side so that now it's the right width. But I am not getting rid of any of my strips, maybe these ones. Um, and the reason is we're going to use all the strips that we cut off inside our journals. So save all those because they're going to be great for decorations. Okay, and I have this little bin that I'm going to be tossing mine in, maybe off camera. Okay, so that will be the front cover right there. So because of that, I think for my back cover, I do want it to kind of go with this. So I could use green, I could use red, I could use white, I could use silver or gold, I could use the light blue. So that'll be the back cover. Now mine has a linen look and a smooth look, so I think I'll put the linen look outside. That will be my front and back covers. So I'm going to get those attached right now. Now I'm going to use a combination of double-sided tape and uh, probably the Uhu glue stick. Now, one of the things you can do, because it is so difficult to get these centered on here with tape, is that you can do one side first, like this, get it lined up. You could even clamp this if you want, like, like that. And then, and then pull off the one tape here. Smooth that out. then you can do the rest and so now we know it's already aligned but I want to get some of this in here Okay, now I am not going to punch my holes until I get my papers in there from the other side. Okay, let me clean up my workspace. Okay, so now we magically have our front and back cover. So now from this point, what we're going to be doing is looking at day one. And you can see I can clean up my edges of paper a little later. Day one is what we need to decide next. So let's get our paper. All right. So it doesn't matter at this point which I'm going to use because I see that how many days I have. I have 21 days plus these two, and I think I'm going to use one, so that's 22 days. This I will probably cut up so I will use my solid colors to make up the other days. So it doesn't really matter to me which one comes first. Let's just grab one and play. Okay, so I know looking at this that I love every element on this. So I don't want to cut it up 
per se, um, unless I cut some a little off the top, which I might do. Put this aside. First, we need to get it to be our six inches here. So I know that I've been trimming my papers at five and a quarter to fit in the um, in my book. But I think in this instance, oh, this is so hard. It is hard to cut into or fold through these. I think I'm going to make a tab across the top, but I still need to make this. I think I'm going to have to cut into it or fold into it to make it what I want. So one of the things I've been doing, and not every page has to be exactly five and a quarter inches, which is what I was doing with my other one too. They're not all the same. Okay, so I'm thinking if I preserve this image, I'm going to have to cut through or fold through Merry Christmas or part of the door. I think I'll do this here. I'm going to score this at uh, four and a half. Like I said, every page is going to be different. They're going to be different lengths and different heights. So, whew, it's hard making that first fold. And so now you can see when I fold that, I have a little bit of presence, but look what happens when I turn that over. It's lovely. Okay, let me get my glue out. Alrighty. So I have, I'm trying to decide, even if I use this white pocket, I still have the, the little strip that I cut off in order to make this. And I think that would be perfect right there. And it kind of blends in with the green from that. Alrighty, now let's affix this here. Alright, so there we have day one. Fairly easy, we could start clipping along a little better now, and I could at this point uh, trim this up and also punch the holes. Remember that many embellishments can be done after we get this started. So here we go. Day one, we've got our front and back cover and we have day one started. Now, um, I do have um, a numbering system I want to show you. I've created a PDF of the numbers one through 25 and I have them in both in one inch circles and one inch squares. So you, if you have a one inch circle punch, you can punch this out. You can trim this by hand or, or on your trimmer. You can print this out on white. You can print it out on colored cardstock, whatever you choose to do. And also I have this, which is uh, just some expressions for Christmas that you can cut out. Again, print out in cardstock, whatever color you want. You can even print this out on two colors so that you have two different um, colors to choose from and whatever scraps you have left over that you don't use, you could flip over and use the, that cardstock for other projects. Um, this is a um, Microsoft Office document with this beautiful font. When it converts to PDF, it only converts it to Times New Roman, so the PDF version is just plain font. Okay, so those are in a free download. There's a link down below to getting your copies of both of those for your project. So I will be printing these off myself between now and the next time that we work on this project. We will get more than one page done per day, but I think the video is already getting long, so I think that we will move on ahead. But I also wanted to say one more thing, and that's that your little workstation, what I did was I just went ahead and picked up several of the things that I knew I was going to be using, like some vintage Christmas washies that are really narrow. And everything that I have in my Christmas collection that might be um, the dark red instead of the really, really bright red and things like that that I can use to embellish with. So I'm excited that we are going to have fun with this. And I think that let's go ahead and put one of these on there in the meantime because it looks a little bland looking at this. And remember... I should probably punch my holes so I don't forget my holes are here. 
so I don't want to put the stickers there. I think I'm going to put this there in the bottom left corner and then I'll have room for a sentiment or something across there. Very cute. And the other thing I'm thinking now that I'm looking at it is I like this here, but I'm thinking it might need another stripe of something. Okay, I like this one. It is really tiny, tiny berries on white. And probably the very last thing I will do will be worrying about anything on the cover besides what you see here already. Very cute. So if you don't have a two hole punch, all you need to do is measure in and I will give you the dimensions on that. Okay, it's a half inch in to the top of that hole right there. That's how far in you probably want your dot, your circles to go. How far apart you put them on yours is totally up to you. Okay, until next time.